目の前で消滅させてやるはっこれらを潰れてしまう自分が悪いね生まれた地に愛してここまでだ終焉を告げよう Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Sega, and welcome back to another episode of All Our Heroes. Today, we're gonna have a triple analysis of Fire Joshua, Water Joshua, and one of the new ones, Dark Joshua. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's click the little bug. <laughs> let's start with Fire Joshua. He's a striker. This one right here. Fire Joshua is a very useful striker. And differently, he almost seems as a support striker, since all of his skills offer benefits to the team. One of the best companions for like Olivia, Water Astrid, or any other hero who can use Provoke. Or who has the set of ribbon signs? His second skill is like a small fire bonus ultimate. It can grant you invisibility in addition to buffing the damage and waking the enemy. Lastly, he can delay the movements of the target, a very special striker. The best stats to focus on is speed. You can use him as a damage dealer because his attack is really low. About his skills, all of his skills are really good, but you will use his second skill to buff up your best striking and finish the fight as soon as possible. Um, th this is the basic one, Pendu Kinesis. His second skill, higher order and his ultimate gravitational tempters. His ultimate is really good, so I recommend use this as a combo with another striker. And if you mash it up, it will cost you only two stars to energy. About his set, use six pieces of the pure set, two pieces with percent of defense and two pieces with percent of health. Try to have uh, speed as sub attributes, ring and necklace, uh, speed, optional set, use defense set or life set. Now let's check this one right here. Uh, oh, I have here. Oh, I might forget to put this on. Okay, uh, let's use this one right here. He got a really good outfit. Although Fire Yoshua has many use and can shield an ally, in PvP it occupies a very important place that can be used by a striker with a skill in an area that can be much more useful than him. I do not want to say that he's not useful. Well, you can make him war wonders on a really good striker like, like Fran, like Ray. Olivia or Water Walter. Anyway, now nah, even thinking of a different thing can be more useful than someone with provoke. Now let's check Water Joshua, the best sniper in the game at the moment. This one right here. Too bad he is a premium unit. Warrior Joshua is like a small water crumb. Unfortunately, he's a premium hero, but for those who are lucky enough to have him, it is a very good option to have an extra water crumb. Although you can also get a fire aslan that has the same function in a different class. Besides the action mood, he helps a lot to remove stun debuff on allies, which is really good on a defense team in the Colosseum. The best stats to focus on is speed. Now let's check his skills. 
key second skill is the one we will spawn in this one right here and about his set okay let's check out uh, which one this one right here yeah try to see species of the sure set two pieces with percent of light two pieces with percent of defense make sure to have two attributes with speed rain and necklace speed optional set defense set or life set in the colosseum he works well if it's after an enemy that uses stone on his allies but honestly you can use better sniper than him if you are an attacker team He's well used among high elo players well, to generate double speed on their teams. Yeah, a lot of people use him with Warcrum, being Warcrum the first one to spread out the team, then he going on second place to spread out the team even more. And now let's check the oh my god uh, uh, the last one which is a cleric with the third element this one right here it's pretty new dark joshua dark joshua is the first and only cleric who can poison the enemy while helen allies he was a very good choice for the four hill on a rating before they balance it water barret and upgrade her a lot more. Now, Dark Joshua is a good option, but he only works well with the poison team. The best stats to focus on are speed and attack. His heals depends on his attack. About his skills, his second skill is very good and usable to move a slow unit and make it attack first, something very Useful to finish a fight quickly. Is this one right here? The high order things at all other just right. The rest of the skills are really good to poison the enemy and heal his allies a little. The first one it has a chance to inflict one stack, and his ultimate it has a chance to inflict three stacks of poison and heal the enemies at the same time based on his attack now let's check his set try to use four pieces of the healing set and two pieces of the strength set we must make sure that the main attributes have health and defense or you can use as the number use the efficacy set because it has a 20 percent Change of the birthright and he needs a little of the birthright to land the poison and do an extra damage. And remember, the poison does a lot of damage to the race on Obelix uh, scenarios. Try to use a speed on ring and a necklace because he needs to heal up the teammates as soon as possible. An optional set, you can use defense set or a strength set. Okay, now let's go right here. At the moment, I will not recommend using a healer in the Colosseum and PvP since this position can be better used with a sniper or a striker. Anyway, Dark Joshua is not a very good uh, unit in PP, unless he's a very fast and you can use his second skill to overtake a striker and win the fight in two turns. It could work. <laughs> okay, and that's it for all uh, Joshua. Now, I'm gonna show you some fights because I have two of them. And that's it. I see you soon. はじめよう。はっ。氷漬けにしてあげる。涼しくしてあげようか。はっ。
これは使いたくなかったんだけどな生まれた地に名を返してくれ。させてやるはあこのまま潰れてしまう任務失敗時空一閃とどめを刺そうこれが私の正義だ最後まであがいてみようよ。敵を撃滅せよ敵を撃滅せよ始めよう。これは使いたくなかったんだけど生まれたチームを返してくれる。<笑>
ござりませんあとは頼みます受けてみよう時空一戦仮定してくださいわずかいと。勝利をつかめ
目の前で消滅させてやるへやこれでは潰れてしまう<笑>敵を撃滅せよ使いたくなかったんだけどな生まれたチームを返して最後まであがいてみろよ。
名誉のある敗北であらんこともっとたくさんのことをしなければ。Well, thank you very much for being here. I hope you like the video. Share the video if you like. Subscribe to the channel. And that's it. I hope to see you soon. Later.